Hey guys, this is a video saying that I'm not dead, I'm alive, and I'm well. I'm not sick anymore. Um, I have a small, tiny haul. Um, I went to the CCO at my local Tanger outlets, um, and I got Max Select Cover Up in NW15. It was $10.25. See if it'll focus. No. It's the lightest color they had. <laughs> Comes in a tube like that. It's one third of an ounce. Which is usually like your foundation tubes. Um, I got Mac Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 in NW15. The lid is so cool, it's like velvety. It's like written in gold. I think that's so neat. The last thing I got was a holiday brush set. It says MAC Makeup Art Cosmetics. This this says it was thirty four seventy five from the cosmetic company store, but I'm pretty sure it's thirty-three fifty, and they sold for fifty at on the holidays. Comes with a makeup bag, the Mac symbol, a brush holder that's like magnetic. It like opens up right here, and the five-piece brush set. And this has. Let me see what brush numbers it has. They're all special edition, so um, it has 168 SE, 187, 212, 219, and 275. And as you guys know, the 187 is the stippling brush, and I'm so excited to try that out. It's right there. This one is like a angled contouring. This one's like a square square tipped eyeliner. The 275 I believe is that what it is? 275 is the um, like angled brush. It's kind of like you could do like a crease or out, out here. Um, and then I got a 219, yes 219 pencil brush. They're all short handled. The only difference between these and the long handled regular is that these are made by machine and the long handled regular ones are made by hand. So that stippling brush, long handled, is $42. So I'm pretty glad I found it for that cheap because it's a good deal just buying it for that brush. So um, that's my mini haul. I spent about $68 I believe. I didn't tell you. Um, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid was $18.25. I think I told you everything else. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm not dead. So, um, I'll try to make some more videos soon. Bye.